Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Guardian under the main headline of Ukraine war. Large explosions heard in Kyiv. Zelensky calls on Russian troops to surrender a euro. Latest news. Summary of headline article. What term do you want to search? Search with Google. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Russian state media employee Storm's news show in. A Euro Propaganda Euro Protest Summary of Headline Article. A Russian TV news staffer stormed the state's flagship news show in a brave protest against their propaganda over the Ukraine war. No to war. She was also holding a sign in Russian which can be translated as don't believe the propaganda. They're lying to you here. Muzov Sianikova pre-recorded a separate message beforehand in which she said her father was Ukrainian and she was ashamed to be a Channel One employee. What is happening in Ukraine is a crime and Russia is the aggressor, said Muzov Sianikova. Pavel Chukov, head of human rights group Agora said Muzov Sianikova had been arrested and taken to a Moscow police station. From Evening Standard under the main headline of more than 40,000 Brits offer to house Ukrainian refugees. Summary of headline article. TENS of thousands of British householders offered to house Ukrainian refugees within hours of a sponsorship scheme being launched. Ukraine Presidency. AFP via Getty Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky speaks during a press conference in Kyiv on March 3, 2022. Ukraine Presidency. AFP via Getty Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky addresses MPs in the House of Commons via video link on the latest situation in Ukraine. Ukraine Presidency. AFP via Getty Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky during a video address on March 12, 2022. Ukrainian Presidential Press Sir Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky delivers a video address in Kyiv. From Reuters under the main headline of US warns China against helping Russia as sanctions mount. Summary of headline article. Russia calls its actions a special military operation to denazify the country and prevent genocide. A claim the United States and its allies reject is a pretext for an unjustified and illegal attack. According to U.S. officials, Russia has asked for military and economic support from Beijing, which signaled a willingness to provide aid. Russia has accused Ukraine of planning to use biological weapons. The United Nations says more than 2.8 million people have now left Ukraine since the start of the war. Further SANCTIONSEU member states agreed on Monday to a fourth package of sanctions against Russia. According to France. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Roman Abramovich private jet tractors Chelsea boss. Accused of shady deals. Summary of headline article. He had much to ponder after Israel warned it could not provide a safe haven for sanctioned Russians. Such as Abramovich. Flight tracking websites suggest Abramovich flew from Tel Aviv in a Gulfstream jet to Istanbul. Arriving yesterday, Abramovich paid around £190 million for Sibneft before selling it back to the Russian government for £9.9 billion in 2005. Sign up for the free Mirror newsletter The document said Russian authorities wanted to charge Abramovich with fraud. They said allegations of corruption in the Slavneft and Sibneft deals were false and Abramovich denied he was protected by President Yeltsin. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine war. West made. Terrible mistake. After Crimea. PM. 
Summary of headline article. In his article in The Telegraph, Mr. Johnson said, When Putin invaded Ukraine the first time round. In 2014. The West made a terrible mistake. The Russian leader had committed an act of violent aggression and taken a huge chunk out of a sovereign country, and we let him get away with it. From the Guardian under the main headline of UK Euro S COVID travel restrictions to be dropped despite rise in cases. Summary of headline article. All remaining COVID travel restrictions are to be dropped across the UK from later this week. Despite a concerning rise in cases and hospitalizations, Tory MPs and the aviation industry had put pressure on the government to make the move before April. Given all domestic restrictions have already been repealed. On Monday, Heathrow announced that air passengers traveling through the airport will no longer be required to wear a mask from Wednesday. Boris Johnson's spokesperson on Monday insisted there was no need for any fresh restrictions to help curb the spread of the virus. Last month, Johnson significantly loosened remaining COVID restrictions announcing that those with the virus were no longer required to isolate and that free mass testing would end from the 1st of April. From Metro under the main headline of eight arrested after squatters take over a £25 million mansion. Linked to Oligarch. Summary of headline article. To view this video please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video 8 people have been arrested after protesting at a London mansion linked to an oligarch. The protest started at around 1am on Monday and it took nearly a full day to remove the small group. The Labour politician said he did not condone the actions taken by the squatters but questioned whether the police move against them had been proportionate. He told Andrew Marr on LBC. We know that there are many properties owned in London by people close to Putin. Records indicate it has not changed hands since and is owned by an offshore British Virgin Islands company. From BBC under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war. British Fox News journalist injured. Summary of headline article. Mr. Hall's injuries come after another U.S. journalist, Brent Reno, was shot and killed on Sunday in the town of Apin while working in the region. Two other journalists were injured and taken to hospital in the same attack. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine war. Boris Johnson calls on Western nations to take back control of energy supplies to end addiction to Russian oil and gas. Summary of headline article. Boris Johnson has called on Western nations to take back control of their energy supplies and end an addiction to Russian oil and gas that has left them subject to blackmail by Vladimir Putin. This would allow the West to wean itself off Russian supplies. The PM added that as the Russian assault on Ukraine continues, the cost of oil and gas rises still further, meaning less money in your pocket and more in Putin's. Mr. Johnson described Russia's vast resource of hydrocarbons as Mr. Putin's strength, but also his weakness. If the world can end its dependence on Russian oil and gas, we can starve him of cash, destroy his strategy and cut him down to size. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.